What's up, what's up, everybody? It's Jenny. I am back with, um, this is, I don't know what to call this. I guess it's like my, my chopstick collection or my chopstick hoard vault. <laughs> I'm just copying Rena. Hi, Rena. Um, anyway, I decided that, because I was cleaning and, you know, I've been cleaning for over a month now. And, um, I, while I was cleaning, I found a container full of my chopstick collection. And this is not my whole collection because I have a lot more that we actually use, but, um, these are the ones that I picked up while I was in Japan. And the first time I went to Japan, I thought, you know what, I want to collect something and I want to collect something that's not fragile and something that's not too expensive and something kind of cool that you can only get in Japan so while we were kind of going around um, the thing that I thought of was chopsticks hello isn't that very Japanese anyway so um, I I don't think I bought all of these I think some people gave me some but let me just share them with you and let me just say I don't have any in my collection right here that I'm gonna share but there um, is a good selection of cheap um, chopsticks at Daiso. If you go to the 100 yen store in Japan, it's only 105 yen and um, they have like really nice designs. And so what we did was we bought um, a whole, like I don't even remember how much we bought and we gave that away as omiyage to like people in our offices. And that was like the best gift because you don't have to worry about it like rotting, like if it's food. You don't have to worry about it breaking because it's not that fragile. And even if it does break, who cares? It's only a dollar. So anyway, on to my collection. So let's take a look. Um, let me just share these. I don't think I bought these. <laughs> I don't remember buying these. Um, I really think that Don, um, who uh, visits the island scrap looking frequently, um, I think he gave these to me because I was telling him that I never got to go to Puralan when we had gone to Japan. And you can read all about that on my blog. If you go to crazyforpaper.blogspot.com and you click on the link on the side that says Japan, um, you'll see all of my Japan, um, my travel blogs. And um, it explains why we never got to Puralan. But anyway, he went after me and he went to Paraland because I guess somebody on their tour wanted to go and so he picked up some chopsticks for me. I think this is from him. So the first one is Hello Kitty and of course he complained about it the whole time because he's like I didn't want to go to Paraland so I don't know why he went but anyway he picked up the chopsticks so I'm very happy about that and then he got me my Melody chopsticks and I don't even know if I ever saw my Melody chopsticks before but anyway I keep it in the wrapper so I don't even use it but I really should because these are not like they're kind of plain so I don't think it would like hurt it if you used it but anyway if I go to Pureland I'm going to get like the fancy kind like the ones I'm going to show you now okay so the next oh let me just show you this one first so the next one I got was we went to the snow festival in Sapporo and that was really cool you can see I have pictures on my blog about that too um and that was I guess it was the 64th Sapporo Snow Festival and these little snowmen are like the um what is it called like the mascot everything in Japan has a mascot so these guys were like the mascot for the festival and then it, I was hoping that they would have like fancier chopsticks but this is the best I could find and it says Sapporo Snow Festival on it and then I don't know if you can see but it has like a carving of like a little snowman so um, anyway, I got it just like as more of a memorabilia thing. I don't really like it that much, but because it says Sapporo Snow Festival, that's the only reason why I got these. Anyway, um, yeah, so, but these are really cool. Okay, so let me start with these. So I got, I found these. Look, they're little pandas. Aren't they so cute? I am pretty sure, and but don't quote me on it, pretty sure I found these in Ueno. I think it was at the zoo. Now Ueno, because they have the zoo with the pandas, they're like all about the pandas. Like everything you can find, if you want to find a panda thing, you go to Ueno. Um, anyway, so I, f I think I found the chopsticks there. I'm not certain. Um, I may have found it in Nakamise. Nakamise is in Asakusa and it's like a bunch of kiosks and like a shopping arcade area. 
um, that's well known and they have all kinds of trinkets and they have trinkets um, typically Japanese some of them are crafted some are not obviously this one isn't but I like it anyway okay and then the other thing I got the other one I got and I think this is from the same place was like it's like little daruma now if you don't know what a daruma is okay let me just explain it to you if you don't know wait I have one right here hold on let me go grab it <clears throat> okay this guy here is a daruma and what you're supposed to do or what is typically done at the beginning of a year you buy a daruma and see how his eyes are not filled in so you will f once you make a goal for yourself you will fill in one of the eyeballs and I don't know if it's like a certain one because I didn't go research that much but you fill in one of the eyeballs and then throughout the year or however long it takes once you reach your goal, you fill in the other eyeball. So I did buy this um, as part of my, like, my sister Sam's goals, and I forgot to fill in the eyeball. <laughs> I'm so junk. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's what you would normally do. And this is one a typical Dharma. So because he's very typically Japanese, I wanted to get something like that. Look how cute the chopsticks are. Okay, anyway. And then um, we did want, well, one of the things I wanted to go when I first went to Disneyland was to, I mean, went to Japan was go to Disneyland and because I wasn't sure if I was ever going to go again. And so that was like one of the main things that I was on my <clears throat> wish list. So we, we did end up going and I can tell you more about it if you want to know. But um, you can, again, you can go to my blog to see more. Um, we are planning on going to Japan again this year, so if we do, I was talking to my husband about it, and we said that I asked him if he would like vlog with me, and he said he would, so we're going to try to figure that out. But anyway, these are the coolest chopsticks you'll ever see. Like, they have regular chopsticks, and then on the top, they have like these figures, so I, I went crazy, and I bought a whole bunch, and I had intended to give it to people, but I ended up keeping them all for myself. So anyway, this is, and then see how it says Tokyo Disney. Okay, so this is Mickey's hands, and then I had to get Mickey Mouse, right? Because he's like my favorite. And then if you get Mickey, you have to get Minnie, right? And then I got Pooh Bear. See, Pooh Bear. Oh, sorry. Pooh Bear. And then <clears throat> I got Donald. I can't remember if they had Goofy, but I didn't get Goofy. And then I thought this one was kind of cool. They had Genie. I'm sorry, they're both not facing the right way. So there, there's Genie. And then they had like a big um, Monsters Inc. thing. So I got Mike. And, and then I got Stitch. Now Stitch is like a Japanese favorite. So um, they really love Hawaii, I guess. So they have a lot of like Lilo and Stitch stuff. So <clears throat> one day I will show you my popcorn bucket collection from Tokyo, Japan. We only have two so far. I gave one to my mom. But if we go again, which I think we're going to go this next time, then I'll pick up another cool one and share that with you guys when I come back. Okay, so that is my cool chopstick collection. Um, I don't even know if you think it's cool, but I think it's cool. And if you guys want to know more about Japan or whatever, then let me know. Because once you go to Japan, you will want to keep going. Um, I have a couple, I have another video to film, so I will... Um, end this one now and see you in the next video. Bye!